An excellent day everyone in different parts of the world. Welcome to my channel. You know, really excited to share some tidbits from the years of being an entrepreneur and having that experience and being able to use that experience and share with you some of the insights gleaned, some of the mistakes that I also made so that you could avoid some of those mistakes in your own journey of becoming an entrepreneur. Being an entrepreneur in this day and age is very important. Uh, the robotic roles that we used to do called jobs Technology has become so advanced that those robotic roles that we used to do as human beings were no longer, we're, we're being ousted from them. Uh, you know, even as a medical doctor, I'm a medical doctor, but today we have a RoboDoc that you could put in your symptoms and it gives you the diagnosis and also a prescription that you could fill at the pharmacy. So that's what's been happening in the in world. Every profession has been affected, every robotic role. So if you're not an entrepreneur, if you're not solving a problem, you're not providing solutions to the world's challenges, then you're going to find it increasingly difficult to sustain yourself from a cash flow standpoint if you do not have investments or you're learning how to be an investor so that you could grow income and use money to make money instead of time for money. So it's been a really interesting series of experiences and this particular uh, lesson that I want to share with you today is that we need to stay open to continuously growing and learning in terms of new opportunities. We really need to. And you know, looking back, I could say that during my early years as an entrepreneur, I made a lot of money. And during that time, I wasn't very open to other opportunities. I wasn't very open to doing other things. You know, I was start thinking that what I was doing was always going to be there and the income from that would always continue and I'd not ever have to be worried about money ever again. And what I'm seeing happening right now is that, especially for those who are in the, the traditional economy, or the, con the traditional economy, especially for those in the world of money, uh, the world is going to have a major overhaul in terms of the financial system. There's a completely new financial system that's birthed itself, that's actually designed to replace the existing one. So the existing one is going to be very marginalized. The way to look at it is that the emails did to the post office something quite significant, right? So cryptocurrency is going to do to the financial system or fiat money the same thing that the emails did to the postal service. So we're going through this huge transformation and huge change. But what has happened is that those individuals who I know in the existing financial system, they've become so comfortable that they didn't open themselves up to learning, you know, about the cryptocurrency, you know, I know individuals who are senior executives at some of the largest banks in America, Jamaica, Canada, that are friends with that with myself from I was, you know, coming up as a young entrepreneur, that I met them along the way. And I reconnected with some of them this past weekend. And it was very eye opening that some of them don't even have a cryptocurrency wallet open. Some of them really don't even understand what an exchange is. You know, some of them don't even understand their own investment banks. And some of them don't even understand what are digital assets. So what happens to us is that when we become comfortable where we are in terms of our business, our income, our jobs, we tend to become a little bit narrow minded in that lane. And I've been there and we focus so much on that area. And then we do not look at other things that are happening around us. So what has happened to individuals like that is that and used to happen to me, but I've learned my lesson now. But when you're in that space where your business is doing well and it's really generating a lot of money for you and it's stable and it's running well, it's really important at that point to be diversifying and bringing in other areas and be open to new possibilities, new opportunities. What are the next areas that are emerging? Because a lot of us shut down um, to other opportunities when the one that we're doing is really going well. I've, you know, I've seen it happen all over all the time. You know, I speak to some friends of mine who own oil and gas businesses in uh in nigeria and they have very large oil and gas businesses and you know i said to them hey you know what there's a there's this opportunity in the space of you know financial literacy and ah oh, harry man i'm i have my hands full you know i mean things are going well you know maybe for somebody else but not for me and i understand that mindset but what happens is the i'm seeing right now and a lot of those who are sitting down in their uh, existing you know, investment banks and that type of thing, they're really sitting on a house of cards and they cannot see it because their minds have been so close to the fact that they, this is never going to go away. 
And I understand because I was in that space where when your business is really doing well and the economy is working well for your business, you're thinking it will never go away. And ladies and gentlemen, I, I could say confidently that the new financial system has replaced the old one. The only people who do not know this are the ones who are not aware of how the new one functions. Those who have taken time out to open up a wallet, to understand what an exchange is, to even do a transaction, you know, and to see the difference between doing a wallet to wallet transfer from my wallet to your wallet and how much less cost it is, how much more efficient it is compared to going to your existing app at your bank and paying them a bunch of money to send money to someone else in another country or even in your own, own country. So it has become so efficient and a lot of people who are in that space, they have been so close, they don't even know. And I was really enlightened yesterday on over the days that I've been speaking to different people who own firms because I've been trying to encourage them to open up themselves and come and learn from our academy, <laughs> right? And come and learn what's going on because man, we're changing the game up in here. It's so nice to see what's going on for our members and you're invited to come and join us because the truth is that you really need the education that we offer and um, a lot of people around the world need it. It's what we need today in today's society. We need to become financially literate. We need to go know what's going on in the money making markets and we need to develop our entrepreneurial skills because technology is eliminating what we used to call jobs. So hopefully that little tidbit, there's a bunch of things in there, but hopefully you got something from today's lesson. So bye bye. Until next week, I'll talk to you guys again. Bye bye.